Welcome back to another video. I've got my cup of tea here. It's just been done, so this is going to be... I'm going to regret this. Yep, that's hot. Ow. Don't drink tea once you've just made it. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to talk about the Bratton Prime. I know someone asked about this a while ago, and it's taken me a long time to get over... or to get it done. Um, I do read all the comments and you know when I tell you guys I'll do my best it doesn't mean I'm gonna do them on the spot and because of the Scarlet Spear event all my time has been grind the event I've legit not played with anybody for about two weeks I've just grabbed that event out and that's it I now have every arcane finished and I've spent the last we're on the half 12 in the morning uh, the last Four hours, I want to say. Doing ESO to level up these weapons and then jumping into a mock quick to actually use them. Because yes, I am, uh, I'm just like that, you're welcome. But anyways, yeah, I know you asked about this, so I'm going to show you my build for this anyway. I don't like, the, I like how the Breton Prime is as a weapon. I just don't like the reload animation. The reload animation is one of the biggest turn-offs for me. I just don't like it at all. Like, I am fashion guy, so if it looks good, nine times out of ten, I'm probably going to prefer it over something that's better. And this is a really good weapon, but that reload, nope, nope, no, I don't like it at all. It's not the best. It just doesn't look right. What does he take out and what does he put in? Nothing. There is nothing there. There's no mag. There's no whole force head. But where is what? You're loading thin air. Maybe it's shooting thin air. Maybe that's the point. I don't know. Either ways, no. Fix it. But the weapon itself is actually pretty fucking decent. Look at that. Look at that. I quite like this AR because it's a slow fire and a fucking hard hitting weapon. I rate that. This is like one of my top 10 most used weapons on, on this game and I don't know why because I don't ever remember using this properly I, 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 I don't know how or when but it's, yeah, it's, it's fucking good it is really good I'm impressed uh, you won't be too impressed with the build that's on it but you know, who really does stuff like that? I just love the slow fire in hard hitting ARs. That's always been my thing. Like in Siege, Thermite is who I play. Slow firing AR that hits like a fucking king. In most games, I always tend to take the slower fire in ARs. Like the Man of War from Black Ops 3. What gun did I use in Black Ops? I use SMG in Black Ops 4. Modern Warfare. I'm in the kilo, but they're all pretty rapid weapons in Modern Warfare, so... I don't really think of any other comparisons, but you get the point. Slow firing is my shit. ACR from the old games, the old COD games. And Ash has just got this. Ash has had this so easy. You know, I, I'm on a fence as to who's better, Ash or Mirage, like damage. Because Mirage is super good. But Ash can go invisible. And if you die as an Ash, when you're invisible, there's a couple questions that need to be asked. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me. Let me know if you get that far in. Ash or Mirage for like late game things. I'm going to say... Ash is invincible, but Mirage does have that damage debuff or da protection buff. But then you've got to be standing in the shadows for it to work, and then you don't do as much damage, so... Hmm. Oh, I don't know. That's a good, uh, that's a good pulp. 
If I was playing the team, I actually wouldn't say no to either of them. I think Mirage would be easier to use in a team. I think the Ash would have too much work. Because obviously you can't strip the armor for every enemy all the time. So. so you could have the Ash focus the heavy enemies. I don't know. That's a good point. This isn't going to work, by the way. I'm just telling you now. Fire Ray and Wisp just doesn't work. And it's not just my Wisp. Because I was playing ESO earlier with a Wisp. And I was Volt with this weapon. I was leveling this weapon up. And it just... I'm telling you, I don't, I don't think fire rate is good on viral. Sucks. Look, if I just, maybe I'm shooting too much. Let's just, uh, just a little tap. Don't know what it is. It just depends on what procs. And it looks like it's working right now. Oh, that's better. Yeah, it works if you tap it as such. Yeah, 68% fire rate wisp. Fuck off TV. This TV pisses me off. Your TV will turn off. Is it on? Well, I'm blatantly on it. And then This is going to go about as well as you'd expect it to. Oh, shock. I can't believe Mirage makes this work. <laughs> the fuck are they? You know, make a bleed for 400, Mirage. Come on. Pull your finger out, that's pathetic. You're better than this. Oh, we've got Arcane Rage as well. Oh, well, yeah, you're fucking dead now. Literally nothing on the planet will survive that. Literally nothing. That's such a dirty combo. Yeah. <laughs> So, that's the build. This is the build that we're running with, personally. So, I would recommend Serration for damage, Hunter Munitions for Slasher on crits, Split Chamber for multi shot, Point Strike Vital Sense for crit chance, crit damage, Malignant Force, Rhyme Rounds for cold and toxin for viral, and then I use Primed, Primed? Primed Bane of Corrupted. Uh, if you only have the normal Bane mods, so use them and obviously I'm fighting corrupted so I'm using corrupted but if I was going to fight infested I'd chuck on infested I think these mods are really underrated uh, and the more I play with them the more builds I put them in they do work for some weapons they don't work for other weapons but some weapons just are, are beyond saving um, and yeah I think these mods are slept on I think uh 55% damage to Corrupted, so if you think about overall, ignoring Bane for the minute, you've got all these mods, let's just say, for instance, the gun does 50 damage, just in numbers, and then with all your build and everything, that ups it to, let's just say, 300 damage, now you've got Bane of Corrupted, 55% damage to Corrupted, so 55% extra damage. Where I'm coming from, I'm sure there are videos out there that have done the maths on it and everything like that. But yeah, really don't sleep on these mods. These Bane mods are really, really good. Obviously, it is a bit of a ball ache having to keep swapping them for um, who you're fighting and things like that. Yeah, it is a bit annoying, but I mean, I stay in the void when I do all my shit, so I don't change. I might slip off every now and then for infested, unless it's like an arbitration, then I'll swap it. That's very rare. Uh, do I have... No. So let's put together a build that doesn't involve that. And we'll try and make a... a crit... 
corrosive build if we have the space. Oh, we got 12, so we could use hammer shot. Some extra crit damage. Uh, hmm. Use Argon Scope. I tried to leave this out because not many people have it. And it's just not as good as people think it is. Like point strikes 150. That's 135. It's just stacked together, sure, but you lose damage. But yeah, it's just not as good. Let's try that. Let's try Hammer Shot. If that doesn't work, we'll chuck in Bane instead of Vigilante Armaments. We'll see if that works. Just to see if we can get Corrosive to work. I don't think we will. And I'm going to proc Arcane Rage as well, so this is going to look... See it? That's with Arcane Rage. I mean, it doesn't look the best with Arcane Rage, so if I swap that out... Let's just get rid of that. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's not what I wanted to do, game. Look at all these maxed out arcades. Yummy. Sick. Now I've got to put my build back together. Great. Fuck's sake. No, it's just not as good. It just isn't. Maybe that's because of hammer shot then. Let's drop that and put in Bane. See if that makes if we can fit it in. I hope so. Fucking four four for this thing. I must have gone through like twelve former today. Get rid of you. Oh, this will fit, look at that. Oh, genius. Absolute genius. Move. The amount of times I've been stuck on shit today is fucking stupid. I mean, the numbers are bigger. The viral is just so much better than this. I don't know. I think. I think. No. Actually, I do know. Don't use this build. Stick to viral hunt munitions. It's better. It just is. So there you guys go. I'll chuck the build back up super quick. Did I, go? I didn't go over the stats. No, I fucking didn't. Right. I'm all over the place. So, we've got 4 form in it, like we said. 28.6 accuracy, 30% crit chance, 4.4 times crit multi, 9.58 fire rate, 75 magazine, multi shot of 1.9, so that's 90% chance at a second shot every time. And you've got a magazine of... Yeah, you're going to be procking two shots lots. Noise of alarming, reload of 2.2 seconds. It's, you don't fucking reload, you reload nothing. 57.2 status, trigger of flow, impact 4.6, puncture 32.5, 57, 55.7 slash, 111.3 viral. What the fuck was that? Shut up. So yeah, it, it, it's good. It is really good, to be fair. As an assault rifle, is it top, it's top five for me, I think, but... If someone said, right, you've got an AR, Breton doesn't even come close. Like, I'm thinking Supra first. Supra's my gun. I love the Supra. This Supra's so fucking good. Um, you know, Soma. I prefer the Queller. I think the Queller is better. Statistically, maybe not, but again, it's one of the prettiest looking weapons in this game. Uh, Kuva Carrot. These are things that come to mind before Breton Prime, but... It's good, and it's there, so I believe it's a relatively easy to get weapon. I don't think the mastery ranks stupidly high for it. I'm not sure. It is good, like I said, I'll leave it there. I don't have ribbons for it. I don't know about Bratton ribbons. I've never looked. Uh, I don't have one, so I mean, I said that about the Sobek, and it turns out I had one. I definitely don't have a Bratton ribbon. No, I don't. No, didn't think so, so. I can't comment on that. Oh, I've got fucking cake in my beard. For fuck's sake. 
Don't grow out a beard. Just stay away from it. It's it's so much easier when you have a clear face. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys did enjoy that, leave a like, leave a dislike if you did for whatever reason. Comment section's open if you've got any uh, questions, recommendations, requests, suggestions. I don't know what order I said. I keep fucking it up. Questions, suggestions, recommendations, requests, requests, questions, requests. I don't know. Any anything, just write in the comments. I'll answer it. Links to socials and things like that are in my description. Uh, the main one in there is the Discord. Uh, quite active in there. Whenever someone talks in there, you know, you can, there's a Warframe channel. If you've got any Warframe questions and things like that, that's great. And uh, subscribe if you're new around here. We're trying to thousand by the end of the year. We're on. 678 79 we're up there somewhere so thank you guys so much that's great uh and yeah uh, i'll let you guys go so uh, it's been acid i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna go and build my mirage again it's been great